Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Zero Analyst. This is the day 41 of our 100 days SQL challenge series. Thank you so much for showing so much love to this uh, SQL challenge series. In this video, we're going to solve one of the really challenging questions that was asked by two companies in a data analyst interview. So let's see the question, let's understand the problem, then we will see step-by-step -step approach to solve this problem. I'm going to give my logical step-by-step -step solutions to solve this problem so that you can replicate the same solutions to solve this type of problem. So let's go ahead and see the problems statement. So we're given a salaries a table that has four columns. The first column has a company ID, which has a company information, different, different company ID. Then the second column has a employee ID, which has a different, different employee and their IDs. Third column has an employee name. And the fourth and most important column, that is the salary column that has a salary values for each of this employee. Like you can see here, $2,000, 21,000, 10,000, 300, 450. So different different employees and different different salaries informations we have it here. Now let's see the problem statement. It says write a SQL query to find the salaries of the employees after applying taxes. That means the salary that you see here, this is before tax. We need to just return the salaries after applying taxes along with all these informations. Now it says a tax rate is calculated for each company based on the following criteria. Now if you see there are three criteria we have. The first criteria is 0% then 24%, then 49%. Zero person, if the max salary of any employee in their company is less than $1,000, then it is going to be zero person. That means if in that company, that wherever that employee belongs to in that company, if the maximum salary is less than $1,000, then the tax slab is going to be zero person. And if you see 24%, it says if the max salary of the employee in that company is a range from $1,000 to $10,000, which is inclusive both the values, then the tax is going to be 24% and if you see 49% if the max salary of any employee in that company is greater than $10,000 then it is going to be 49%. Now if you want to understand for example for this employee which is Tony. So Tony falls into the company ID which is 1 right. So in company ID 1 you can see we have uh, 3 records and uh, the maximum salary is going to be 21 which is this record right. So maximum salary is going to be 21,000. So that means that is greater than 10,000. So for this Tony is going to be the salary 2000 minus 49% at tax. So Tony is going to be getting somewhere around, you know, 1000, maybe something, right? Now in the company ID2, if you see the maximum salary, that's going to be 700 bucks, which is kind of less than the, you know, $1,000, which is going to be the first one. So the tax is going to be zero. So Pam is going to be get 100% salary, which is $300. Okay. Now, if you see this third company details so the, this is the third company details in the third company details we have all these four employee and if you see the maximum salary that range somewhere around uh, you know between i would say 1000 to 10000 dollars so this employee will fall into this middle bracket which is going to be 24% brackets and then that means we need to minus from their salary we need to minus 24% tax and then we need to return the salary so you might be thinking the solutions of this problem already in your mind so you can pause the video if you think you can solve this problem pause the video write your solutions and uh, let me know if you can solve it and then you can just share your approach in the comment box so i'm going to solve this question using very simple approach i will be using city and case statement and maybe group by to solve this problem so let's go to page admin 4 where i have already created the table and inserted all this record to solve this problem now i can get this data set and everything from the video descriptions so here you can see i have already imported all this record and all these employees each and everything here which you can get from the video descriptions so first thing is that for each company we need to find out the maximum a salary right so for that i would just say that for each company we need to find out what max salary okay so that is what we can achieve using simple approach which is going to be group by this company id all right group by this uh, company id and we can just say max on this salary right that's how we will be getting each company and their maximum salary once you have that next what i'm going to do is that i can simply go ahead and uh, join with the main table which is going to be my salary table okay and this is what i can save in a cte okay this is i can save in a city called maybe max salary okay so this is the approach i can follow so this is i can save in a max salary which will only have each company and the maximum salary from this data and then I would be joining with the salary table and I will be getting the max salary along with all this information like company ID, employee ID, employee name and their salary and the max salary of that company. Okay. Now based on max salary, I can use a simple case statement, case statement to kind of find their tax slab. Okay. So which we have seen here. So 0%, 24%, 49%. 
I can use a simple case statement based on this max salary and I can get their tax percentage. Okay, so this is going to get me the tax percentage. Once I have it, then I can kind of sum everything in one another CTE and I can simply minus from this salary, I can minus the tax SLA. So the way we can find out the salary after minusing the tax, so you can go ahead and do something like this. So let's say your salary is 2000, if you multiply with one minus the tax percentage, so the tax percentage is going to be, let's say if it is kind of 24%, so it's going to be 24 by 100, right? That's the 24%. So you can say one minus 24 by 100, so that is going to be your kind of the net salary. If your salary is 2000 and if your tax lab is 24%, so you'll be getting the salary. So let me just show you. Let's say if I have a salary of 2000 and if I just multiply with one minus 24 divided by 100, you will see I will have the net salary, which is 1520. So that is the actual salary that is after minusing the tax. If I minus 10% from here, then you would uh, see a different salary. Let me just go ahead and show you. So if I minus 10%, that's going to be 1800. So 22,000 and from the 2000, if I minus 10%, that's going to be 1800, right? So that means this a formula what we will be using to get the salary, okay? So these are the things we will be doing and to solve this problem. Now you can solve this problem using different simple approach as well. I find this approach more simpler than the other approach, but if you have any other simple approach, you can let me know in the comment box. So let's go ahead and start in action step by step. Okay, so first we need to find out each company and their maximum salary. Okay, so for that what I can do is that I can simply go ahead and say that select, let's go ahead and say select company ID. And then I would simply use a max on this salary column. And I'm just going to name it called max salary. Okay, so from salaries. Now I would need to do a group by because I am looking for each company and the maximum salary. Okay, so this is the aggregation function. So if I do a group by for each company, I will have the maximum salary for company one, the maximum salary is going to be 21,000 for the company two, the maximum salary is going to be that is 700 for company three, the maximum salary is going to be 777. Okay, so this is going to be the maximum salary. Now let's first run this query and once you run this query, you will have each company and the maximum salary. I would just need to do a group by, by the company ID. So you can see for each company, I have the maximum salary ready. So I can save this in a CTE. So I can say with max cell. Okay, max cell is the CTE name I have given and I can just put this in a parenthesis so that this kind of stay in that CTE. Okay, so this is fine. Let me just do a little bit formatting here. So I have now each company and the maximum salary. Okay. So what I will do is that now I would just go ahead and select the main table again, which is going to be select everything from salaries. Okay. Now what I will do is that I will be doing a join with this max salary based on this company ID. See for each company ID, we have now max salary here, right? So that means based on this company ID, I can do a inner join. So for each company ID, I will have the max salary here. That is what I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, I would just go ahead and say join, join with what, which is going to be max cell. That's my CTE. So that's going to be max cell. And I would do the condition between these two. So salaries, I'm just going to give a alias called S. The max salary, I'm just going to give a alias called S M S. Okay. Now I would join with based on S dot company ID. Okay. And max salary, which is going to be M S dot company ID because they both have the same column, which is called company ID. If you want to see this table again, I can show you this table has a company ID for each company ID. We have a max salary. We are doing an inner join here in this uh, table. So basically for each, uh, so we're doing inner join here in this table. So basically for each employee records, we will have their company's max salary. Okay. So this is uh, one of the way to solve it. Let's go ahead and kind of select everything. Okay. Let me first select everything. Then we will be selecting the columns that we need. Okay. Now you can see we have each of this company ID, company employee ID, the employee name and the salary from my first table. These things I'm getting from the second table. Okay. So now we have for each employee, we have their company's max salary. So if you see this employee ID one, that employee has a salary, which is 2000 and the company that employee belongs, that is one and that company maximum salary is 21,000. Okay. So we have three records from this. For the two, you can see the max salary is 700. For three, we can see max salary is 7777, okay? 
so now we can select a few of the columns that we need to solve our problems so let me just go ahead and kind of select the column that i need i would need company id from my first table which is going to be s dot company id and i'm just going to need some more records that's going to be employee id s dot employee id s dot employee name okay and i would need the max salary which is going to be coming from my second table that's going to be ms okay so i would say ms dot max salary okay so all these things that i need now i already have it let me first execute this query again now i can see we have each company id each employee id their salary their name and the max salary i would also need to select their salary s dot salary okay so let's add a comma here and uh, let's kind of run this query cool so we have now everything that we need now based on this max salary we can kind of build a logic that tells that the percentage of the tax slab okay so if you see this max salary 21000 that means this salary is more than 10000 right if you remember this uh, slab that we have 49% tax if the company's salary is uh, maximum salary is more than 10000 so that means if max salary is 21000 of any of the you know kind of employee the company max salary is 21000 that means the slab this employee is going to fall into which is called 49 person if you see this one also going to be 49 person this one is going to be zero slab this one is going to be kind of 24 person okay that is what we need to do we can use a simple case statement to implement this okay so we will do here we can implement the case statement so what i can do is that i can say case so case goes with when then okay i can add one more when and then because i need three conditions so i would just go ahead and say end and i would end uh, add a else logic okay i usually add all the logic before that so that i don't forget anything so here i'm going to say that when the max salary okay so i would need to use this alias okay so i would just go ahead and say that when this max salary okay when this max salary which is means this means which means this max salary for each record this case is going to check for each record and it's going to return some value here okay the percentage here so i'm saying when this max salary is a kind of less than 100 dollars then i want to return something called a zero okay so simple because if this is less than 100 that means this it's going to be zero that means if in case the salary if you see here if the max salary is uh, of a company is less than 100 then i want zero percent okay so this is what it is going to return then i would say the second condition if you see the second condition it is little different it says 24 percent if the max salary of any employee in that company is a range from 1000 to 10000 so that means any record that has 1000 to 10000 then we would implement 24 percent so for that we will be using a simple logic which is called between and end so i would say when this max salary between between 1000 and 10000 now here you need to know one thing this 1000 and 10000 they both are inclusive so that means if the salary is 10000 that is going to fall into this group if the salary is 1000 that is going to fall into this group because see, if you see here if it is only less than 1000 that means even if the salary is 1000 it is not going to fall here if it is less than 1000 then only tax is going to be zero percent so then we want to say 24 percent okay so this is fine else we want to implement simply 49 percent because if it is less than 1000 automatically everything is going to fall here if it is kind of 1000 to 10000 it is going to fall here everything else is going to fall into this 49 percent group okay so this one i can just call it call uh, maybe tax slab okay tax slab and let's go ahead and execute the query so we should be having a new column by this case statement for each employee we will check their slab and we will return the percentage here okay let me just go ahead and execute it now if you see for this employee which is tony so the tony falls into a company called one that company max salary is twenty one thousand, and then the slab is 49 percent the second company three employees slab is zero percent because again their salary the maximum salary is uh, you know 700 so which is less than kind of 1000 and all these last four records they belongs to three company which is called company id3 their slab is 24 percent okay now simply what you need to do is that based on this slab we just need to calculate the final salary of each of this employee which we are going to do now here it is going to be a little complicated because we have created text lab using this case statement so what you can do is that we can save this in a new cte and then we can use that cte to kind of create the net salary okay so that one i would do so i'm just going to give one more new cte i'm just going to call maybe salary with 
before text okay now i would just need to use as alias if you if you are creating a second city following by the first city you just need to give a comma and then you just need to give a city name this time you don't have to use this with a logic and then here you just need to give s logic and put this whole query in a brackets so this whole table is going to kind of consider in this a table which is called salary before text okay you can give any name based on you so i usually kind of add some line like this that means this city e following by this city e okay so here i would just need to add a line this one i would just move to the first okay so this is my second city which i have created now from this second this second city is creating a nice table you can see here this table so from this table i can use this table to kind of create my net salary okay so let me just go ahead and select the things that i need from here so i would just go ahead and say select what i need is the company id so now i can just simply a company id so these are the columns i can use okay so i need the employee id so i would be selecting employee id then i would need the employee name so i'm just going to select employee name then i going, i'm going to select the salary if i need the salary but i don't need the salary at the moment so i would just simply go ahead and say that what i need is the net salary okay the way we can count, calculate the net salary which is going to be this formula which is going to be this salary times 1 minus this and the slab and divide by 100 okay so here what we will do is that we would simply go ahead and say that salary okay that is coming from here and then we would just go ahead and say times and 1 minus this slab okay so that's going to be this a text slab that we are creating here using this cte okay now we will need to divide it by 100 to kind of get the percentage here you see it's an integer so we need to get the percentage so if you divide by any number by 100 that's going to give you the percentage okay so text lab divided by 100 that's going to give you the percentage instead of 49 and that is fine then what you need to do is that we can just save it as a salary okay we need to do two more things so it says that here if you see the question return the results a table in any order round the salary to the nearest integer so we need to round the results in the nearest integer first of all again here you will be getting some error because this text slab is integers and you're dividing it by 100 so you'll be getting division errors okay so for that what you can do is that we can use a simple numeric functions that's going to convert it into this number into kind of decimal numbers and then we can kind of divide it by 100 that's how we will be getting the salary okay. so we are minusing from one that's going to give me that kind of percentage okay so let's go ahead and kind of see everything i'm getting from in this which is called this salary before tax okay so we have company id employee id employee name and the salary before tax from everything i'm getting from salary before tax so these things execute first and then this is executed and then we will do the round let's see if it is working already okay so let's go ahead and run it now now you can see now for this Tony's salary after deducting the tax it is now $1,020 for this which is called 10,863 and different different employees and you can see their different different salaries so for this the salary is $76 and for this employee salary is $1,672 so based on their tax slab now the salary has deducted okay accordingly so now we can just do a roundup to the nearest integers so to round up any query into nearest integers what you just need to do is that you simply use a round functions without giving the decimal point okay so that's going to round this results let me just organize the query okay so here we have done a roundup and uh, it's going to kind of round the results into nearest decimal point so this is going to be salary after tax okay let's go ahead and execute it all right now you can see for each employee we have their employee id their company name their employee name and their salary which is after the tax so this is how we have solved this problem now i am going to add this solution in my github repository from where you can download and follow the step-by-step -step approach to solve this problem that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end i hope you have learned something new today if you're new to this channel do subscribe to my youtube channel i will see you in the next video till then keep learning and stay consistent have a good one take care bye bye